so check this out. So this person goes to a dental clinic to get his cavity treated. But as soon as he comes home, he starts to feel something, or some discomfort on his tooth that he just got treated. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's a question that he asks himself. Didn't that go to a dentist to get that tooth treated? <laughs> Welcome back everyone to hear me talk about teeth stuff and if you're asking why do I like to talk about teeth stuff Well, I like smiles and I want to see you guys smile as well So today, let's talk about pain, sensitivity, any discomfort that you might get after a cavity treatment We all know cavity equals bad Remove Yes When there's a cavity on your tooth, your tooth doesn't just go like I'm had no C Your tooth goes on a cold red. They're in shock. Because of this reaction, you will look for the closest dentist you can find to get this cavity treated. So you found the dentist and you go to the dental clinic. You go through the whole shazam of cavity treatment procedure. If you want to know more about the cavity treatment procedure, then you can definitely check out my other videos. After a cavity treatment, you go home. Your numbness from the anesthesia wears off. And then you start to feel some sort of sensation on that tooth. It could be pain, it could be sensitivity, it's just discomfort on that tooth that you just recently got it treated. At this moment, you might be kicking yourself, why didn't this tooth feel this way when I was at the clinic so I can ask the dentist and he or she can do something about it. Whoa, 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 hold your horses. What you're feeling, it's normal, usually. Remember what I said about your tooth goes on a cold red when the cavity invades your tooth? Well, let's think about that. Why do you think that happens? Because it's foreign and it doesn't belong in our tooth. Just as if you're to get a cold or a virus, it doesn't belong in our body. Therefore, our body reacts and you get the pain, you get the fever, you might get the cough, you might get the sneeze. Your tooth also reacts similar to your body. With that logic in place, when a dentist uses a drill to clean out the cavities on your tooth, how do you think your tooth will react? It's like a cavity invading your tooth is very traumatic, very shocking to your tooth. Dentist drilling also is traumatic to your tooth. Because just like the cavity, drill doesn't really belong in our tooth. Because your tooth is in a very traumatic state, they need time to recover. They need time to heal up. This healing phase varies among different patients, but usually it takes about a week for that sensation to fade away. But I have heard there are some cases where this sensation, this discomfort lasts all the way to like six months. That's a long time. Of course, this also depends on how deep the cavity was, how close the cavity is to your pulp. As we know, we got our first defense mechanism, which is the enamel, then comes the dentine, and then we got the pulp where all the nerves and our blood vessels are. So deeper the cavity, your discomfort level and chance of you getting those discomfort feeling would increase. Also, during the treatment, your tooth is numb from the anesthesia. You know those numbing shots that helps you not feel anything? So after the surgical treatment, your dentist will ask you to bite down on this ink paper. We call this occlusion paper. But your tooth is still numb, and then you had your mouth open for a quite a some time. And because of that, you might not know if you're biting down like you normally would. That's okay. That's okay. That's what we use the ink paper for. To make sure your filling isn't too high, we do our best to shape and reduce the filling. The point where your filling blends in so well with your tooth that it doesn't look like you got a filling done. But it's not 100% sure whether it's gonna feel normal once you go back home when the numbness wears off. Given our track record, the ink paper, the occlusion paper, it's pretty accurate. 95% of the time, patients don't really have any complaints and it works out. But if the filling is a bit too high, I'm talking less than a millimeter, it does give you that discomfort feeling when you go back home once your numbness wears off. The feeling kind of feels like you have a bruise on your teeth. It might be also sensitive to cold water, but the feeling usually just like fades away really fast in a couple seconds. It doesn't like linger on. But overall, it does kind of ruin the experience, doesn't it? Because you come back home when your numbness wears off and you feel such discomfort, of course you're gonna feel upset. But it's not something serious and it's something like this is a very easy fix. Only downside is that you have to come to the clinic again but who wouldn't want to see your lovely dentist again, right? I mentioned about healing phase, how it will take some time for your tooth to heal up, recover from such traumatic event. Also, I mentioned if your filling is a bit too high so that you may feel that discomfort, but it can also be from non-tooth related, meaning it could be coming from your gums and you may think that it's coming from your tooth because you recently got that tooth treated. A dentist might put on like a metal strips or a wedges, like a wooden wedge, between your gums. That does give you some sort of discomfort. Here is the kicker guys. As long as the level of discomfort 
doesn't increase over time, it's nothing serious that you need to worry about. If it's very consistent, then maybe your filling is a bit too high and you should go see a dentist to get that adjusted. But if it does end up increasing over time, please, please, please go back to your dentist and have that tooth checked out because you may need to get a root canal, but I really hope it's not. So if you like this video, leave a like, you want to see more, subscribe. Till next time, peace.